Welcome everybody. It's Anne Hine. I'm going to hold here for just a moment as people get set and find us online. I'm going to pull up my comments so I'll be ready for you. Here we go with that. And I have my comments on, so if you're out there, you can go ahead and let me know where you're from or that you just want to give a thumbs up. That's fine, too. Oh, great, Wanda. On time. That's wonderful. I love it. I'll be taking attendance for sure. All right. So here we are. We're live with Janome. As I said at the beginning, I'm Ann Hine, and I'm the embroidery software specialist for Janome. And I'm going to start over here with my countdown tree. I added another ornament up top because we are, uh, let's see, we're on, let's see, eight days down now till we get eight days towards Christmas. So there we go. And I don't know if you were here yesterday. I showed, um, I have a little trashy here and, and ginger pink showing over here. But this is, this is a design from the machine. We have a couple of machines that have these little monsters. And I did something a little different with the, with this. I was at a show and I could only find, you know, this fabric. So I couldn't find a solid. So what I did is I probably shouldn't have done these circles because you don't really see them. But for the, for the face, I just laid a piece of fabric right over here and let it stitch on there. I didn't even attach it here. So you could, you know, you could kind of put your fingers in there and then it's sewn together on the bottom there. But I call them trashy because at the show, we filled him with um, all kinds of fabric scraps from around the booth. So he was trashy, eating all the trash, eating all the trash. So there you go. That's what we do when we're out on assignment and we, we have a few minutes in the booth. We do things like that. So, so welcome, everyone, as we get to the countdown towards the big holiday. I know everybody has different Advent things up. I'm also doing an advent uh, design uh, by, um, it's, a, it's actually a handwork design, but I, we're converting it, Some of, several of us are converting it to embroidery and doing a tree a night. So that's really fun. So I'll be posting my uh, eight day tree tomorrow. Uh, I probably should, or maybe I'll post it later tonight. That's probably what I'll do. So let me see who's here today. Uh, we got quite a big group. Let's see. Very nice. Well, welcome everyone. So today we're going to talk about turning some of your uh, embroideries into red work. And I've talked about this before, but what I really liked is some of the Christmas ornaments that I've done or the Christmas designs. And a few weeks back, I did some napkins that had reindeer on them and I converted them to red work. So I want to show you that today. Um, during that live, it was just a lot to do with how, getting them stitched on the napkins. So I'm going to switch over to my camera so I can show you those. And then I'll go back to the software and show you how I did it in the software. All right. Oh, we've got Minnesota in the house. How nice is that? All right. Let's go over here and I will put on the camera. So there we go. These are the napkins I did yesterday in case you didn't catch my live. These are those half circle type napkins and then you fold them like this. And I showed two ways to do them, hemming on your machine or using your serger. So just wanted to double duty on that. So let me move my camera in so we can see these a little bit better. So here are the napkins I worked on the other week. And this is actually a design in the CM17, but you can use other designs. And I'm going to show you, I did some tweaking to this design as well, but it stitches out really nice. Um, on, this is a, a linen, linen napkin, so it stitches out really nice on there, maybe sort of an antique type look. And then I printed out a couple here that I like. This is a design, uh, I believe is in the machine. I'm going to show you this one like this. We can play with that. And then this one here, I think I had this in my stash somewhere. And it's probably on my other computer, but this is another Christmas, you know, design that I just converted. It wasn't a regular embroidery and I turned it into uh, a red work. And then I added, this is the bean stitch. I just, for some reason, really like that bean stitch, but that's up to you what you want to use. So I can go over to the software and take a look in there. Let's see here, make sure. Now, if there's any questions, put them in the comments. And as I go along, I will check my comments and I can answer today. If I miss them, I will always answer afterwards. I usually come back a couple of times and check on it. 
So let's open the software and see where we're at here. Here we go. Let me get the software up. There it is. Okay. All right. So let's go in and I have some set up already. So I'm going to go in here and I'm not sure which one is which, but let's start way over here. I'll, I'll hold off on that one. Let's see. Well, let's start with this guy. And so this is um, this is that uh, deer head that's in our software. So I took it and converted it to red work. It wasn't too difficult. I'm going to show you that. Um, I did this guy. He did not convert well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip him for a moment. Here's one for Halloween. So you can see the regular one down here, and then the red work one at the top. And I didn't change any of the stitching here, but I'll show you how you can edit this. And then there's this Merry Christmas tree one. This one I think is really came out really pretty. And then uh, this is the one we're working on. But I'm going to go get that deer because it's in my browser here. And it is right here. So let me open that. There it is. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. So this is what it looks like normally if you stitched it out. And if I want to convert this to embroidery, what I'm going to do is select it. And then I will convert it to curves and then I'll convert it to red work. So I'm going to show you first off if you don't convert it over here and you just go to red work like this, it looks more like that. So it doesn't, it's all bumpy, it doesn't come out well. So you really, if you're using an embroidery design that is a uh, embroidery file already, like a Jeff file or something like that, you would need to convert it. So let me undo it. And then I will um, come over here. Well, thank you, Virginia. She learned so much from our classes. I love hearing that. So I'm going to convert it to curve so I can find it under convert at the top or over here in my properties. So I'm just going to select convert to curves. There we go. And then while it's still, can, well, I'll unselect it to show you. It looks almost the same but it has uh, lost some of its properties and gained some other properties. So that's what converting does to it. So you can edit your design. There we go. I don't know why we keep slipping away here. Maybe if I put my mouse on my mouse pad, that would help. All right. And then I'm going to come up here to convert again. And right here, you'll find convert to red work. And I'm going to click there. And then you will see this. Let's go up here. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit better so you can see. So this is just um, a, like a run line right now. So if I select it, you'll see over here, it is a it is a running line. I could make that uh, a double line or triple line if I wanted. Or I could change it to a bean stitch like that. And I'll click off of it so you can see it. Doesn't that look nice? I love that. So the other thing you can do is if there's any things in here that you want to edit out or change, you can do that at this point um, with like right up here, there's a little spot. If you select your piece and then you right click and break apart, then you can go back in and select parts, edit nodes, and then you can zoom in here close. I'm going to zoom in right where these nodes are. There we go. And see how this is sort of wonky in here. I'm going to change that because I don't think I want it. So I'm going to just click on this one here and de hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to delete that one. And now it looks a little bit better, comes around nicer. This one down here has a few little weird things happening. So I'm just going to click on them, left click and delete, left click and delete, left click and delete, left click and delete. And then see these arrows, these are uh, directional arrows that move your, uh, your thread. So I can bring them in a little bit. This might make it uh, be a little, let's see if I pull this out, maybe this way. I could make it a, a little bit, uh, oh, I don't like that. Let me take this out. There we go. You have to be careful. Sometimes they make these weird things like this. So I'm just going to shorten that shorten this one click on it grab the end of the arrow bring it in and shorten it up there we go so that looks rather nice i like that i'm going to back out so you can see 
And then I'm going to click off of it again so you can see the whole thing. This area right here, you know, I might even just take that away because I don't know if I really need it. And actually in my piece, I took it away. So I'm going to show you in my dot in my picture here that I took it away. Let me put my camera on so you can see that. So if you see right here, let me zoom in a little bit if I can. Here we go. So right here, I took that extra little piece out and I may have done some others like um, on this little thing in here. I think I took some pieces out too. So let's go back to the design. So you are the designer at this point. You can make whatever changes that you want to make with your piece. So let's go back in here. And that's the area right here I was talking about. Let me go out a little bit so you can see. So I don't know if I need this bump on there. I might just remove it. So again, I can have it selected, zoom in, because I always like to be close. And I'm just going to take some of these uh, nodes away. Click on it and delete, click and delete, click and delete. There we go. And then see this one sticking up. So I can just grab the end of that arrow and pull it in. It makes that line come in. It reshapes the line. So now I have a nice, I will go out a little bit. I have a nice curve there. This little piece, I can just select it and delete it. So that cleans it up a little bit right there. And then you can make these, you know, they're all sort of square. I could make these more square if I wanted. So here we are. Let's go in here and take a look. Sorry, I keep going the wrong way with my mouse. There we go. So if I want to make this a little more square, I could bring this out like this. Just adjust my piece. And then if I turn these a little bit, let's see. See how this is flying out there, we can just make that come in a little bit. There we go. So there you go. You can go around your design and tweak it. Um, oh, thank you, Virginia. Yeah, you can tweak it however you like it, which is nice because, you know, there's parts in here that probably won't stitch, you know, that I, I don't need that extra part. Like this whole part in here, I took all this away. And I think I cleaned up in here as well. I took some of this, I made his antlers a, a lot uh, more clear. So I'll show you again. We'll go back to the picture. So you can see in this area here, I cleaned up all of this and some up in here. I fixed those a little bit. I came down in here and did a little, a little bit in his, in the, uh, the body part too. So that sort of straightens, cleans it up a little bit. You're, you're in charge. Nobody knows, you know, what you've done or what you haven't done. So really, um, you know, Make it your own is what I say once you get it to this point. And then some of the other ones, like this one here, let's just have, when you have this one here, you may want to leave, maybe you don't want to make these red work. So let's see what happens when I just select the bottom part of this. And I want to, I want to scroll in and look a little bit better and make sure I don't have, yeah, I think I'm good here. So I'm just going to. I didn't want to have the bottom of the plus, let's get this part. There we go. So I'm going to come up here and do convert to red to uh, curves first. And then I'm going to go to convert to red work. And then, yeah, maybe I won't want that there, but let's take this for a minute and we'll make it, uh, let's use the oval bean. So if I put an O there. It's a little thicker with the oval bean. So you get this kind of a look. You might not like that. Um, some of this I might clean up. Maybe I don't like these hanging down or this little one I don't like in the middle. But I can make any of those changes just like I did, especially across here. I could fix this and up in here. If I want to convert this also up the top, I can select it. Same thing, convert to curves, convert to red work. And then I could come over here and let's just make it, uh, we'll just make it the bean stitch there. I'm gonna change this one to the bean stitch because I think that oval is too big. There we go, Oh, that, that might be better. Eh, still a little bit. So up in here, I'm gonna have to make some changes. And you can see some, oops, wait a minute, I didn't get that part. 
some designs are going to convert over really nicely and other ones you you know you might convert them and go eh, not really you know that's not really what i wanted this one here it, look how nicely that converted isn't that great so you can use this on other lettering as well if you wanted to do some type of red work lettering and i did use the bean on this i think this is really lovely i don't think there's any areas that need work i didn't look at it too closely after i did it these all look pretty good in there you know i might maybe i don't want these little inner parts i might take those out it just depends on that part of it i'm not sure i'm getting this little extra window in here there we go same thing here see there's two parts of this a i might take that away um, anywhere it doesn't look quite right i might uh do a little fix on it. these little peas maybe they need a little work too but it's really up to you what you want to do maybe i'll take the present away maybe it doesn't need a present under there at this time let's go on down here and see what else i have same thing here this is the the cat that's in our uh, software i mean actually no in our machine and then up here now his face looks well he does look kind of mean here too his face lo looks a little mean and i didn't change the the stitching on this at all um Maybe I want to, maybe I don't. Maybe I want to just change, I'm gonna do break apart. Maybe I just wanna do the, out his body and you could do things like this. I'm gonna just put the chain stitch there and see. So then I put that little chain stitch on his, on it. Maybe his face, I could select, yes, yeah, face has too many parts, break it apart. Let's see what's going on. If I can just get this, eh, that might not look great. Maybe I'll just do the bean. So you can play around with it that way. It's really up to you. I kind of like this little extra part here. I might, I'm, I would probably take his whiskers off and make his whole face and use this little extra piece. I think that's giving it neat texture. But again, you might not like that. So you can make your own changes however you like so this little guy this is what happened with him i actually i chose him and i made him a little bit bigger because he's pretty tiny and then i converted him and then when i converted him i went up here and i did convert to red work and of course you know let's give it a stitch And he looks okay. It, I just don't think he has a lot of, his beard is quite big. So, you know, I could come in here and put some curls in here. If I wanted to, I could use my outline shape tool and I could probably do something like this. They're not the best. And I don't know why they're, I'm getting round ones, let's see. I'm getting square square nodes for some reason today. But anyways, you could come in here and, you know, fix it up with some, I mean, these are not the best looking things, but you could probably put some curls in here and then select those and make them a bean stitch as well. They're not the nicest looking things, but you could make these curls in here, you know, enhance that a little bit. Um, the same thing with his, you know, his hat is even his eyebrows, like, we have eyebrows attached to the beard that's kind of you know odd there so again you are the you know you're in control so you can go ahead and make those changes any way you want and then this one here um this is the design and then i made it red work over here and i just left it uh, just as a running stitch so it's sort of this part in here is sort of interesting it has a lot of little parts in here that i think i would clean up to make it uh, a little less like in, i don't know some of these parts maybe this isn't the best one to use let's go over here and look because a lot of that this little stitching in here which makes this design does not convert well when you come over here you kind of lose some of that definition so it's up to you you know you could uh, the antlers look great i love these antlers but you know it's up to you you can play around with it and use your creativity to uh, you know, make it, make it yourself. Let me see if we have, I don't know if I have anything. Oh, this one here. I want to show this one. This is sort of like the one I, I have printed out and here, 
I'm going to, so let's see, I'm going to select all of it. I might not need that top part, which I'll probably end up deleting at some point. So I'm going to convert to curves. And then I'm going to come up here and say convert to red work. So there it is. It's pretty nice. I kind of, I kind of like it. I haven't given it any other stitches. I am going to break it apart though. And then I'm going to see this top part is connected. So to remove that ease, you could, you, you could cut it with a knife, but for me, I would probably just uh, take these, select these ones up here like that and delete them. And then look here at your, let's delete, let's go down in here and see which one is. Is there another one at the top? Here they are, here are these things that I'm looking for. Bring those down and realign them. There we go. So now the top of the bow is better. There we go. So we don't really need that part. And then in my design, I actually, instead of putting a name in here, I put a, uh, a decorative, a line of decorative stitches, and then I move these closer together. So I could turn this, let's get all of this, and we'll make it all a bean stitch. And then I'll show you that change. There we go. And then instead of, you know, you could put a name, you could make it bigger in here. Instead, I took a, uh, a line and I just, I can put it in a different spot once I get it in there. I'm gonna select it. And then I went over to my stitches and I went down here looking for one that's a little dot. Sometimes when I go over here, I get lost because, oh, this is a good, there we go. And then I can change the width of that. Maybe I can make it uh, 4.0 mm. There it is, a little bit bigger. And maybe I want it, let's, I could lengthen them so they're a little bit further apart. There we go. And I'm going to move it down, use my arrow key like that. And I'm going to shorten it up just a little bit because it really, only needs to be to about there. And then if I want to, I can bring the top, the top part down, I have to select all of it. Hang on a second. Let me get all of that. Use your arrow key, you can slide it down. That way, if you're using your arrow keys, it keeps everything in line. Now my straight line might not have been so straight. I can see when I bring this up. And then I can select all of this and make it red. And there we go. So I've kind of really changed that design. Okay. So how are we doing? Do we have questions? I'm gonna go back to the camera and see if we have any questions happening. Let's see here. There we go. All right. So let me know if you have any questions. I can answer those now. Um, if not, I'll probably be wrapping this up and getting on with my day, as you can too. You can start doing some uh, Christmas sewing or holiday sewing, or uh, as someone said, they're semi-retired, so they're working on uh, some projects. So that's always a good thing. I don't know what semi-retired is. I'm, maybe I'll try that someday. I don't know. All right. I don't see any questions popping up, so I'm going to let everybody go. I want to thank you for joining me this afternoon. It's been lovely. Um, at least I have a short topic today. So get out there, take a look at your uh, embroidery designs. You know, this opens up a whole new set of designs for you. You know, you have your ones that are already embroidered and now you can turn them into red work so you can expand uh, those things that are you, you already have. So, you know, maybe you have 5,000 designs. Now you may have like 10,000 designs when you do them that way. So I'll let everyone go. Have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow let's see tomorrow on the continental club page celine is back over there and then on saturday i believe danielle is doing a um a, one of our uh christmas op our holiday open house at three at 11 a.m on this channel same place same place as this tomorrow it's over on the continental page uh with celine so be sure to check in for that and if you miss any of those and you want to see them, you can always go to those pages and uh, check under videos. They'll be saved right there. 
So see you again soon, everybody. Have a great day. Bye for now.